guys, my name's Shannon and welcome to the Blue Fern Yarns channel. Um, today is going to be a little bit different um, from usual, so rather than a podcast I'm actually doing a bit of a tutorial. Um, so it will be my first tutorial that I'm doing, so please bear with me. <laughs> Um, I've had a few requests about this um, and it is for the Magic Knot Ball. Um, so yeah, all it is, is um, you join two balls of yarn um, or you can use scraps or anything like that. So I'm literally using two very different colours just so you can see how I do it. Um, I'm going to join the, join the yarns together um, and then what you do is you just wind them all up and literally use them as you would use any other skein of yarn basically. Um, you just keep knitting or you crochet or anything like that. Um, I am using DK so it is a little bit more visible but you can obviously use any yarn that you want. Um, and yes, so what you will need is obviously your different yarns that you want to um, create into a magic knot ball. Um, you'll need a pair of scissors and that is it. So what we'll do is we'll get started. Here you can now see what is on my desk. So I've got the two scrap balls of yarn. Um, I am using DK to make it a little bit um, easier to see rather than the four ply which would obviously just be a lot finer. Um, so I've got my two scraps of yarn and I've got my scissors just here. Um, and I've laid them out this way just to make it a little bit easier to see um, sort of how the knot is formed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pink yarn, wrap it over the yellow, then under the yellow. And then I'm just going to create a little knot, just a standard knot, that's all it is. And I'm going to tug it so I make sure that it is nice and tight. So you can see that's the first one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same with the yellow. So the yellow goes over the pink, under the pink, and then just a standard knot again. And again, I'm tugging it just to make sure that it is really tight. Now you can see that you've got this O in the middle. Okay, so you've got one half of it being pink, one half of it being yellow. Um, and then all you do here is you just pull these two ends so you pull the two ends until the two knots meet in the middle. So you can see they are just there, the two knots in the middle. So what I do as well is I pull it quite tight just to make sure that the knot is not going to go anywhere. Um, I have done it before where I have not done this little bit and the knot has unravelled which has meant I've then had to redo the knot a little bit later in the, skin, in the um, ball of yarn. So then all you do is you cut off the two ends that you've got. That's what you do. And again, just to make sure, is I tug those two, just to make sure they're not going to go anywhere. And that is it. All you can then do is you can wind up your ball of yarn, and then you use that ball of yarn just to carry on knitting or crocheting or whatever you want to do. And that means you don't have to sew in an end so I hope you found that useful. Um, if you've got any other tutorials that you would like to see from me, please do get in touch. Either put it in the comments below or find me on Instagram, Ravelry or via email, Blue Fern Yarns, or my email, blueferniarns at gmail.com. Um, and go ahead and get in touch and I will see what I can do for you. Thank you. Bye.